With that serious face, is everything okay? Oh, hi Yura. Everything's just okay. Oh, by the way, I am searching about food, energy, water nexus. Trust me, it works a lot when you know about this thing. Okay, okay. Give me a shot. What is food, energy, water nexus is all about? Alright, let me explain to you. It's all started from the 2015 United Nations Climate Change Conference, a conference that negotiated the Paris Agreement, a global agreement on the reduction of climate change. In this conference, they had outlined 10 ways that chemical engineering field can do in order to combat with the climate changes. One of them is the food, energy, water nexus. Let's start with the most basic element in which people give the least attention to, which is water. We need water to make our crops grow and to produce our energy. For instance, cook power plants or to grow biofuel. Every year, people use this amount of water to produce energy. That's over 200 million times the size of Olympic swimming pools. In terms of food, take this stick. It took over 3,000 liters of water to make this stick. And producing it used a substantial amount of energy that you can imagine. In terms of energy, we also need energy to treat our water and to transport our food from field to the table. Our solution often is to treat food, energy and water separately, but they need to be seen as interdependent. And this is where the concept of food, energy, water nexus came from. Mm -hmm. So, since we didn't know very well about this problem, so what a chemical engineering can do to solve the problem? The X solution called the Integrated Wastewater Treatment System is one of the solutions that chemical engineering field can do to solve this nexus conundrum. This system will collect the discharged domestic wastewater, treating them and reuse to fulfill the need in food, energy and water security. This solution will only require current wastewater treatment plant to modify its process flow and operations to suit with this new process system, thus reducing setup costs. Upon collecting the wastewater for the urban area, the wastewater will directly enter the facility. Here, the wastewater will enter the grease and grid removal dechlorination facility to remove critical wastewater constituents like all fats and chlorine. Deodoration process also will take place by applying other eliminator made from inorganic compound. Then the wastewater will undergo electrocoagulation process to remove silica, heavy metals and other contaminants that might affect the industrial equipment efficiencies. Then, the recycled wastewater will be discharged to the agriculture field to meet the requirement in food security towards water. The advantage of this method is that it can reduce the dependency of groundwater in urea fertilizer, while the organic constituents in the wastewater can act as a clean natural fertilizer to the plants. Lastly, upon re-entering the facility, the recycled wastewater will undergo filtration process to filter cells and gravels. Then, the stream is then will be channeled out to the advanced treatment facility to further clean the wastewater. Advanced treatment such as UV disinfection is a viable option to properly clean the water so that it can be reused for domestic or industrial sector or to be discharged to environment which is significant measures to water security. To cope with the demand in energy security section, for example, power plant, this treated wastewater can be used as substitution to groundwater to improve water security or at least reducing the 
dependency on its limited resources to carry out tasks such as full transportation mission control devices and coolant in thermal electric power plant before being dis safely discharged to the environment. Preserving water security is important to achieve the food, energy, water nexus. Further R&D and strong synergy between the government and the private sector is important to realize the X solution in the future. Let us make the world the better place to live.